So today, Amar had his court for uh, trespass. They violated his First Amendment. We believe he had a right to be in the public park in that circle. And uh, Blake, what, what's your opinion on what happened today? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I think we wanted to get this process really over with as quickly as possible because it's a general district court. You don't get the kind of legitimate judges and you don't get a jury. It's not even a court of record. It's really just a, it's a more informal process really to try to see if things can get resolved to not waste the court's time. But I actually thought that the result we got was as close to a best case scenario outside of getting an acquittal because what we got is we got testimony uh, under oath that we have recorded uh, from the sheriff, from the sheriff's office, basically demonstrating almost as clear as you can get that these policies that they have do in fact violate the First Amendment. The judge himself explicitly stated, I do believe based on the evidence I heard that Amar had a good faith right to be there. And the case law explicitly says, if you conclude that the defendant believed he had a good faith right to be there, it's an acquittal. The judge didn't give him an acquittal. Uh, in fairness to the judge, he admitted to us before the trial started that he might have a conflict of interest because he knows the sheriff, he knows the sheriff's office, he's friendly with them. And again, credit to the judge, he was doing the ethical right thing. He told us that. We decided that's okay. We, we want the process to go forward. We don't want to keep delaying. What we want is a result here so we can immediately take it to the circuit court, start the real process, get the testimony we need, and we got what we needed. But throughout, so throughout this process, the sheriff admits yes. himself, he admits that there's no policy. Correct. It's really up to his discretion. The, the, the sheriff explicitly admitted, nothing's written down, there's no official policy, it's what's in here for me. And he basically said, not only is it what's in here, but he couldn't even really articulate what it is that's guiding him. It really is about, I go with my gut. So I presented them a couple of scenarios, you know, if you saw this, would that be enough? And you could see him live in the moment going, uh, let me think. No, that sounds pretty good. So essentially, the sheriff is saying what what is and what is not uh, allowed is all up in here, and it's decided on a case by case basis. And what the Supreme Court has basically said, Supreme Court of the United States, is if that's happening, that is by itself a violation of the First Amendment because you cannot give the government this unchecked uh, discretion to decide ad hoc, willy nilly. I like that. I don't like that. That that's good enough. That's not good enough because doesn't give people notice and it is ripe for viewpoint discrimination which is exactly what obviously we think happened here. So we can, we can conclude on that day Sheriff Glenn Hill came out he didn't like Omar's sign he didn't like what the message was sure. and because he didn't like the message he says you know what you need to get out of here and I'm gonna violate your first amendment Correct. but this this fight is ongoing hopefully we'll get it resolved like uh, Mr. Weiner says we're gonna get resolved we're gonna in, take it to the higher court. courts we're gonna take to a higher courts and, and just gonna, to be clear, the higher court, sure. it's not a court of appeals. It's not like we are. The higher court is the Virginia Circuit Court, which is the standard trial court in Virginia. It's the it's the very first court of records for trial courts in Virginia. What we had today was a general district court, which, again, is basically a it's a informal non court of record to see. Can we resolve this before we take up real judicial process, real ju judicial resources? We couldn't resolve it. So we're going to. Uh, take it to the real court, but we got exactly what we wanted. Uh, thank you. I'm going to make sure. Thank you, Blake. Uh, I promise this community that I'm going to hold Sheriff Glen Hill accountable. And in this community, this is the United States. This is not the United States of Sheriff Glen Hill. I promise you, sir, by the time I'm done with you, you're not going to have a badge or a uniform. We do have a First Amendment here, and I'm here, and we're going to take it all the way to federal court. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Blake, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.